Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. We're carrying on with the build of this combat wing trainer. Um, now unfortunately I forgot to film the very first bit of what I've done here. But where I left it, we had the leading edge glued on with the trailing, uh, with the centre rib, which is currently underneath his battery. Um, that was all epoxied up. All I've done now is put the assembly, leading edge and centre rib assembly onto the plan, lining up with it all. And I've glued all six additional ribs in place on the leading edge. Uh, I've done that with white glue so now I've got to let that dry and then once that's dry I can then fit the trailing edge in place. So it's waiting on glue drying now. So now the fun begins trying to get this trailing edge in neatly, smoothly, however you want to call it and not move anything. Now I've already tried it on the centre rib before I laid it all down, so I know it fits on that. Oh, it did fit on that, shall I say? But now I can't get it in. Let's just take a very light sound into this. There we go, that's what it needed. Right, now we've got to try and get these ribs in as we go. Get one side in first. Slide in a bit more, get the other one in. There we go, it's going pretty well. Slide it all in. Generally does it. Oh, nice and tight in. Lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of super glue, thin super glue along these twenty edge joints. Where's my thin super glue? Thin super glue. Because in here, they're going to be the training edge section, the shake training section, which I'll put in, but I wouldn't be the joint with that with white glue. So for now, just to hold this all in place, I'm going to spot a little bit of super glue in all these joints, let it wick in. See about getting this training section in if you can see it somewhere there. Do a trial fit first, make sure it goes in. Yeah, that'll go in nicely. Lovely. Just like that. Okay, let's get some white glue on that.
that too, we can then put some more Got super glue on the contact points. And let it go off properly. What I will do once I've it, lift it off the board, uh, I'll put some more glue along the train edge to support everything that we've put in there. But now it's actually starting to look like a wing, and that's taken without the gluing time, without the glue drawing time, that's probably taken less than an hour to get to that stage. So it's pretty good going. So we let the glue dry and come back to it, and we can lift it off the board. Okay, so the trailing edge is all in the bottom sides of it have all been glued in um, one thing we have had to do and it's not a criticism on the kit um, I'm not quite sure where the error has happened the tip pieces the laser cut tip pieces are about 16th 16th of an inch too short but they match the plan so it's not an error on the kit I don't think there's an error somehow in my building, but I'm not quite sure how. Because the ribs all match and all fit nicely, so all I've done is just cut, if you can see it, another couple of tips. Um, these aren't actually glued in yet, they're just sat in place. Um, certainly the one at this end needs to be drilled for the, um, what do you call it? Oh! The lead outs. So yeah, we're getting there. Um, the only thing I've started looking at is tanks got to be fitted. I'm not quite sure which is the feed and which one's the vent on this, but I will ask Tim. Um, but at the moment, it doesn't matter because all I'm doing is spacing out bits of wood to hold it in place. So I've got this one piece that goes in there. Again, this is just out of the scrap box. literally just to hold the tank in place so I'll put a little bit of epoxy in there or silicon or something just to hold it in place and then another piece of wood in there and that bar some trimming of the tips and at both ends and a bit of shaping is the wing complete so all in all, without gluing time, as in glue curing time, I think that's probably taken about an hour and a half to get to this stage, which is pretty good going. So yeah, just need to crack on and get some bits glued in. <clears throat> so there we have it um, that is the wing frame I think structurally finished so I've just finished off the tank bay area there uh, the lead out tip has been drilled so I'll put the tubes in later on um, all we'll do now is cut the excess off the tips shape the tips um, but I might leave that the shaping until closer to being ready to cover um, which won't be too far away yet um, so really the next part of the video or the next video in the series is going to be doing the hardware I think getting that sorted out uh, looking at the tailplane and then starting on the covering so if you're liking this give us a thumbs up if you're watching this and not subscribed down the bottom corner 
hit the subscribe button any comments are appreciated um, all, they're all read um, until the next time I'll catch you later